Thank you, Seth Rollins, for saving Monday Night Raw for me, okay? I appreciate that. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Will with Exposing IWC. We're going to be breaking down several segments from Monday Night Raw last night, but the first one we're going to talk about is Seth Rollins' segment, okay? I thought this was one of Seth Rollins' best performances, one of his best character shows. I appreciate it what he brought to the show. Bring some logic and some reason when logic and reason seems to be missing from the program these days, especially when it comes to the bloodline storyline. So I really appreciated what Seth Rollins brought to the story here. I thought it made sense at a time when they're trying to fast track the bloodline storyline for the sake of getting Sammy and Roman back together. They are taking their time to tell the audience. Yeah, we know there's somebody here that's talking sense, even though Sammy Zayn is seemingly ignoring what happened in the past. Okay. So yeah, I appreciated that from Seth Rollins. And we're going to break that down here in a second. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's break down Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw, and I'll give a grade at the end of the video. So let's start. Sick up, sick it up. When is it up? Pierce, you know why I want this match. I need the match. I've explained it to you a million times. You know who I am in my heart, in my soul. Give me the match. Let me end it. Fine, one more time and that's enough? That's it. Fine, that's next all week. I need. Then you got it next week, because I've had enough. All right, so first of all, Seth Rollins has been giving Adam Pearce hell for the last few weeks. Adam Pearce has had enough with this nonsense with him and Bronson Reed, so he's pretty much over it, fine, have your match, and end it, whatever that means. I don't know how you can guarantee that, because let's say the match ends with Seth Rollins losing. Is Seth Rollins going to let it go? He's going to end it? No, he's going to want to keep fighting, so not sure that's going to work. Maybe they should have booked a last man standing match of some sort. I don't know. Maybe the loser leaves Raw, something like that. But we'll see how that match goes next week. If that will actually be the end of it, we'll see, I guess. I don't know. And then we see Sami Zayn walk up. I'm like, okay, here we go. Sami's going to try to convince Seth Rollins to join him and Roman Reigns in taking on the new bloodline. That sounds asinine, considering the history of Seth Rollins, considering what Seth Rollins did to help end the bloodline and Roman Reigns, this ought to be good. Yeah. Look, I'm gonna ask you something, and I yeah. know it's gonna sound crazy, but just hear me out, okay? Yeah, it is gonna sound crazy. We need a fifth guy for war games. Now look, I know I'm not stupid. I know about the history of you and Roman. Don't say anything. I know. Nobody knows about having bad blood with Roman Reigns and the bloodline. Nobody knows more than me when it comes to that, okay? And I know deep down that the family bond with you and Roman, no matter how bad things got, on some level, you're still brothers. This is one of the most asinine. I can't believe what Sammy is saying. Sammy Zayn is saying, hey, Seth Rollins, you hated Roman Reigns for all this time, but you guys are still brothers. Now come help him. What? Like, what's the angle here? Like, what's in it for him? Why the hell should he help Roman Reigns after everything they've been through, after all the damage Roman Reigns has caused, all the pain and suffering, all the beatdowns, all the narcissism. What in the hell is he giving Seth Rollins for a reason as to why he should come help? Uh, he's like, okay, Seth, you guys have your differences, but at the end of the day, you're still family. Therefore, what? They've been brothers for the entire time, I guess, right? So what changed? He was your brother before while he was kicking your ass. Now he needs your help. First of all, it'd be one thing if Roman Reigns showed that he changed or showed some type of remorse. He reflected, had some type of introspection and talked about it. That's one thing. But it hasn't happened. And even if it did, the fact that you approach him like this and say, hey, your brothers, come help the guy you hate who's caused so much pain, it's an asinine approach from Sami Zayn. It's delusional. It's stupid. And I'm not sure why he thought this would be a good idea or why he thought Seth Rollins would even be like open to this approach. It sounds crazy. Seth, I've looked up and down the roster on Raw, on SmackDown. There's, there's nobody else, man. Yeah, there's nobody else because Sami Zayn, guess what? Roman Reigns has been an asshole, a gaslighter, a manipulator, and nobody wants to help him for a good reason, okay? That's why you can't find anybody. I think you're out of your damn mind. After everything I went through, everything I sacrificed to take that tyrant Roman Reigns out of power, to tear him down, and now you want me to team with you guys to help build him back up? Thank you, Seth Rollins. Thank you. Somebody got to bring some sense to this, some common sense to the storyline. I'm loving Seth Rollins here, and I'm loving what they're doing with Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens is right, okay? 
Cody Rhodes going to go team up with Roman Reigns makes no sense whatsoever. It's all nonsense. You guys put so much time and effort and pain and suffering into stopping that man. And now you want to help him because Solo Zakoa, a man that he created, that's his creation basically. You want to help him deal with that problem because he wants to be what? The OTC? Because he wants to be the tribal chief again? You want to put him back in the same position as he was before when he was a freaking asshole? After showing no change whatsoever, Sami Zayn is out of his goddamn mind. But I understand what's happening here, okay? You gotta rush it, okay? So Sami Zayn can't have an actual arc, actual development that can happen right now. So they have to fast forward it and have Sami Zayn look a damn fool approaching Seth Rollins in this manner when it makes no sense whatsoever. I, I get it. So now Sami Zayn looks stupid. That's what's happening here, basically. When you have characters who are not making sense in your mind, right? And you think they're being stupid for the sake of the plot, plot induced stupidity, right? Sammy has to get together with Roman Reigns, therefore he ignores all the pain and suffering. It sounds crazy, it's stupid, right? When you have that happen, what you can do as a writer, you can have another character, like a Seth Rollins, remind the audience that yes, we're aware. We're aware that this doesn't make a ton of sense. We're aware that some people may disagree with this. Here's the other side of it. Here's the other point of view. We get it. We know. We understand what's happening here. Sami Zayn should be more careful about this. The fans want the story, but here's Seth coming in to remind you guys that yes, we know. We're aware that Roman Reigns has caused a lot of pain and suffering, and you can't really trust him yet. This goes a long way for folks like me who care about storytelling and want to see logic in storytelling. You know, this goes a long way. So I appreciate that from writers. Thank you for having Seth Rollins talk some sense. So backstage, Seth Rollins is walking to his car, I guess. Uh, so that's what I'm assuming. And Kathy Kelly interrupts him to talk about his match with Bronson Reed. And then he sees that Solo Sokoa is waiting ahead of him. He wants to talk to him about teaming up with him and his boys to take down Roman Reigns because he knows Seth Rollins hates Roman Reigns. I know you don't like Roman Reigns. I can't stand Roman. Why don't we be the ones, join forces together, and let's take him out. Solo, you and I, we haven't always gotten along. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, something I didn't tell Sami Zayn earlier tonight when he asked me to join his team. The next time I'm in the ring with Roman Reigns, it will be to stomp his head into the ground. But I will never join forces with a wannabe Roman Reigns. Oh. So this is great, right? He's making it clear. I don't mess with Roman Reigns. I'm not messing with you. You want to step into his spot. You want to be the next Roman Reigns. So why the hell would I help you take down Roman Reigns to put the next guy in that's going to cause the same type of problems? I'm not joining up with Sami Zayn. I'm not joining up with Roman Reigns. I'm not joining up with you, okay? And that's that. Good segment. Hilarious. Put Solo Sokoa in his place. Solo knows where he stands. He sees him as a wannabe Roman Reigns. Great line, great delivery. I like this direction a lot. It makes sense. It's logical. And I appreciate things making sense, okay? A wannabe Roman Reigns, so good. I would give Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw an A. Good writing, things making sense, clear character motivation, give the characters agency. I love it, okay? What were your thoughts on Seth Rollins on Monday Night Raw? Are they rushing it? You like what Sami Zayn is doing? Does it make sense for you? Let me know. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, give me your thoughts below. Later. Kip up.